stupid things that gurus say. Hey, it's Gary, and today I've got little tequila here with me. So we're going to talk about this seven streams of income. I want to share with you some of the things that you want to be cautious about when it comes to what you listen to when it regards that you know you need to have these seven streams of income. What's really the right answer? First of all, you've probably heard me talk about this before. Why is it that we have a tendency to listen to certain gurus? Some people will say, hey, so-and-so is my coach. I will listen to everything they say. Then you will be a sheep to the slaughter. Here's what happens. If we're not careful, we will place a higher status in our minds on somebody than perhaps they deserve because maybe like myself, they're on TV or they've got books or they speak and do seminars. So here's the bottom line. You've got to remember UCS, use common sense. Winnie is in the background making noise. We're going to have Winnie come and say hi to you as well because I'm not going to shut this video off and start over again. All right, Winnie, get over here. So this is Winnie if you haven't met Winnie. And you need seven streams of income to pay for all these little animals. Anyway, all right, so here's the thing. Why would you have seven streams of income if a person's first stream of income doesn't make any money? It doesn't make any sense. You got to be like a stamp, stick to one thing, then we'll get to the then in just a moment. I had a gentleman come up to me, I think I was in Dallas, Texas, and he said to me, Gary, you know, I've got, you know, what I think at the time, I've got four streams of income. And um, is this the right thing to do? What should I do? Et cetera, et cetera. So I said to him, how many streams of income are on autopilot and really creating a decent amount of income? You know, having seven streams of income that barely do anything on each stream, it would be smarter for you to take all your time and effort, put it into one stream of income, make money off of that, get it into an autopilot system, and then go to the next and go to the next and so on. So here's the bottom line. Ultimately, what you need to do is you want to make sure that your first stream of income is pretty much on autopilot. It's making you money. It's already doing well because if you're not careful, you'll hardly make any money on that first stream. Get distracted because we've been told to have seven streams of income. We'll get distracted and then we'll go start something else and steal time from the first one that's not making enough money anyway. And then before you know it, you're making less and less and less, but you have seven streams of income or five streams of income. It sounds so good. Here's an example. If you had a hotel and you knew that hotel to operate, let's say you need 200 people, all right? So you've got 200 people. You need 200 people to operate the hotel. Now you're going to go ahead and buy another hotel that also needs 200 people to operate effectively. Would it be smart to buy that second hotel, take a hundred people from your first hotel and bring the hundred other people to the second hotel? That would be stupid. Now you've got two hotels that are understaffed running poorly when you had the first hotel running well with 200 people. So what would you need to do to get the second hotel? You'd have to have enough income or enough money to back you up where when you get that second hotel, you can still get the 200 employees or another set of 200 employees. You might snag 10 or 15 employees from the first hotel to cross train the second, but it would be stupid to do that. And then stupid to do the third one that way and the fourth one and so on until you've got the first one running right. So here's what I'm going to recommend. Get the one stream of income. Your one stream of income could be your job. Get the cash flow on that. Then with the cash flow from that, take some of that and start another stream of income, preferably one that does not take a lot of time. It could be maybe some stocks. It could be maybe finding a partner that's already successful, somebody that's already proven. They want to start another business and you and that person are willing to put some cash together and they're going to operate the business for you and you're going to bring in the cash. There is a number of different ways, but ultimately you want to use UCS. What's UCS? Use common sense. Just because people tell you have seven streams of income. I've got friends that I know that they, they, they've got so many streams of income and they can afford to have that because they have the money to back those other streams. They don't even know how many streams of income they have. Then I have a couple other people that may have two or three streams of income. It all depends on what your goals are and what you're wanting to accomplish. So nix the seven streams of income. I don't recommend just one stream of income, obviously. 
try to get to the point where you have more than one stream, but nobody sits there, at least I hope not, and says, okay, I've got to have seven streams of income. Some people do that because they listen to everything they're told to. <coughs> Excuse me, because, you know, success guru says, I got to have seven streams of income. Don't get caught into that. The bottom line is they don't know what your goals are. <clears throat> your goals probably are not the same goals that they have. And everybody's values and beliefs differ. So based on your values and beliefs, your goals, what you enjoy in your life, what you and your family and friends enjoy in life, you will base your streams of income on those things. All right, so I hope I've given you something to think about today. Remember, use common sense. It may be two streams, five streams, 20 streams. Bottom line, don't stretch yourself so thin that you have these streams of income because it you know, boosts your ego because I've got seven streams of income and none of them are doing well. Get one or two or three of them. Get them doing well before you start scaling. Get them to the point where they can be on autopilot. I'm out of here. Hey, love to see your comments below. If you're watching this on something you can subscribe to like YouTube, please subscribe to my station or channel if you will, especially that we got hacked a couple months ago so we could definitely afford and use your support. All right, we're out of here. Tequila, can you say bye? Tequila doesn't talk. But anyway, between now and the next time we get the chat, you know what to do. Don't let anything or anyone rent space in your head. Have a blessed day and I look forward to responding to your comments below. We'll see you.